Greetings and salutations, Relax Gamer Nation, and welcome back to Automations Unleashed with me, a relaxed gamer. Hello and welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hello. <laughs> so, I've done a few things around the base. Not really around the base per se. I kind of did a few things inside the hangar. Um, one of those things in is this uh, this hatch. This hatch, if I can pull this up, is really an oh, no, scaffold block. Here we go. Is from the EDP door pack number one, or EDP door pack one. Um, the Steam ID is just on the right there. And this is a hatch for ladders. You know how you're climbing up ladders and you're like, oh, I don't want to get off the ladder or to open up the door or I don't want to go up to a specific level, get onto a flat part, then open up a door. Well, this ladder block helps that. Um, this, I don't know why this is here, but it's a two by one block, but it has no, um, collision with ladders. I don't know if it collides with other things. I just know it has no collision with ladders. <clears throat> um, before we go into that, you know, you like these videos, right? And you know how to make me know that you like these videos. How about hitting that like button? Yeah, that like button. It's just just slightly below the video. It's like a little thumbs up thing. I'm sure you can find it. And if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me greatly. Makes me want to actually do this more. Uh, recently, I've been getting a little bit... Um, not necessarily burnt out, but a little depressed, if you would, with... The lack of views on these videos. I'm not sure what to do about it. Then the only thing I can suggest to you guys is just hit that like button. Hit it, smash it, bash it, knock it down with a crowbar, whatever. Just hit that like button. It helps me out lots and helps YouTube be like, hey, these people actually like this video. So let's push it up the ladder a little bit, which we'll be talking about here in a moment. <laughs> And uh, if you are, if this is your first time, uh, go in the comments, tell me where did you come from? Like where, what video sent you to me? Or how did you find me? You know, stuff like that. Or even put an emote down, being like a happy face or a thumbs up or something. I know, I'm being needy. <sighs> but life is life. <laughs> YouTube life is life. <laughs> anyway, now with that out of the way, I've probably lost all of you now. Wonderful. I, I've uh, uh, made you guys angry at me now. Oh, but this ladder hatch, like I said, it's from the EDP door pack one. And I have it on a sensor. Because nothing is worse than having to get off a ladder to push a button in order to open up the door. So what I've done here is I've put a sensor just down below here in the corner and it comes up to about this much at 0 0.1 or whatever. And it basically activates my door. So there we go. I did some automation <laughs> and it works when you're going up and down the ladder as well. So when I go down the ladder, let's look up and go down the ladder. Do, do, do. Look, it closes the hatch. Sweet. Uh, the ladder that I'm uh, on right now is actually from Deco Block, Deco Pack 3, Space Engineers Deco Pack 3, the DLC. And uh, it's the scaffolding ladder block. Mm hmm. It's like the ladder block, but it's scaffolding. And I need to do something here. And there we go. We can get in here, go up the ladder. Mm-hmm. Perfect. 
So, you might have noticed that I have some sweet lighting here. And you know what? Instead of layering so many lights around, so many corner lights, so many panel lights, so many whatever lights, I found another light. Another thing that I'd like to discuss. Ta-da! Look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. It's a large area light. Um... It is part of EDP more lighting options. So EDP more lighting options. Yeah. I actually have a, have had the EDP mod in here for a while, but I haven't really used much of it. Well, maybe those lights though. I'm not sure if those lights were EDP. I don't know, uh, but I have four of these lights and it is Brightening up my hanger, something fierce, which is awesome. I should really increase my gravity. Well, my gravity range with 20 meters. Yeah, that should do. And I think this is at 0.3. No, 0.5. Okay, that's good. And my inventory is critical. You know what? Get over here. Come here. Come here. Grab this stuff for me. Um, I don't... Um, I don't need that. Thank you, Bob. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Er, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, these EDP lights. Wonderful. Uh, I have never used this specific light before, and I am running out of energy, which is not a surprise. Let's just head over here and charge up my energy. Is my lights on? Are my lights on? Uh, no, my lights are not on. Okay. So yeah, I was like, hey, these are large lights. So let's see how they are. They work really good i have no idea what the range is on these things i should really check that these are what are these called again large area light let's check it out area here we go what are we looking at here 50 meters i don't think i need 50 meters let's go 30 40 meters 40 meters should be fine Density five, we could drop down that to four. Perfect. Uh, maybe I should have left it at 50 meters. Because now that area is not lit up. Let's try 45. That works. Still a little dark over here, but that works. We have this giant hanger. And I need to figure out what to do about this giant hanger. What do I need to do about this giant hanger? Well, first off, I need to separate it in some way. So what we're going to do is just grab this. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And we're just going to draw a giant line. Separate the landing area with the docking area. Yes. I think that's what it is. Landing area with the docking area. Uh, I still haven't decided on a color for this. Uh, if you have any qu any color ideas, hey, let me know. What does How does this look? And does that tile? Yes, okay. Yeah, that tile. Okay. We'll do this instead. <laughs> do not go past this part. Definitely do not go past this part. <laughs> or something of that sort. Do, 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 do. Yay! And I think I will do the same thing here. I don't mind having this medical room here, but I think I need to do something about this. 
I think I need to put another, like, actually build a tunnel in here to create a little medical bay. Why is this? Why are my textures being stupid? Weird. Maybe my graphic card just doesn't like, like, doing those textures. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I could actually, I do have space here. Because that area only comes down to about here. What the? I wonder how long that's been there for. <laughs> Probably a while. So we have our lights. Uh, I think I'm going to change the color of those lights, though. Not sure if weld this armor is the one I want to go with, but sure. You know what? I can separate this into let's let's do like this landing section. Let's make it concrete. Yeah. First, I want to. Although this is going to intersect with the medical bay, I think it's a good idea. It gives me my dimensions. Uh, well, visibly my dimensions. Yeah, that works. Center line, the red line, don't go past this line, the yellow line, warning. Yeah, that works. But yeah, I think what I want to do here is this medical bay is going to be, it's probably not super important. However, let's say somebody gets into a situation out there. Now, now it's just me. I know it's just me, but listen, keep, keep on listening. Keep on listening. Let's say somebody gets into, say, a dog fight and, and gets hurt or damaged or stuff like that and comes in and then a medical team has to, like, get them out of here. They got to get them fixed up. So instead of, like, oh, here, just go into the thing. There you go. You're all fixed up. Let us actually make uh, a triage room triage room i think i think that's what it could be considered a triage bay um something like that and i think landing crash center maybe we have pipes here we could probably do it right about here -ish. and i'm gonna have to do some drilling for that obviously Because we don't have a dedicated medical bay in the facility. So, roleplay wise, let's say somebody come in after a dogfight, the drones are not, are not whatever, but like, let's say physical dogfights. And, uh, yeah, they need to get, ref they need to get fixed up. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to relocate this temporarily over to here just for my convenience and then i will actually move it back into a better location uh, do i have a med bay in here no i do not yeah i like that idea what do you guys think it's a it's kind of a it's a spur of the moment project i would say it's like eh, we could do this or we could not do this or whatever and then I can actually lay out these pipes a little more, bring more inset into this area, and maybe actually put the builder and repair inside that area too. Yeah, I like that. Why is my inventory critical again? Get out of my inventory. So yeah, I would have to I have to build a drill rig then. Or or something, some way of drilling this out fairly easily. Uh, I want it to be probably at least 3 blocks tall, so I'd be going up to the red line here. All right, but first, let's Let's get our concrete down. And maybe I'll make that white block concrete as well. 
Oh, a highly reflective white line. Well, it's not really reflective. I could make it reflective. What if I go white retro? Oh, no. No, no, no. No. We'll stick with the welder's armor. There we go. Black concrete. Thank you. I'm probably going to cut a bunch of this stuff out, but... Or not. This uh, this video is going to be a... It's a random video. It, well, not a random video per se, but a, a quick... Quick, yeah. Quick video. <laughs> Doesn't always work out that way for me for some strange reason. So I could get into it and I'm starting on this, this painting stuff or I'm like... Oh, let, let's start on that project. Let's let's do that thing with the stuff. And then it turns into a big project. Figures, right? Arr, that's great. Got black concrete here, and then we got the white weld this line going all the way down. That's perfect. Perfect. And we got our warning stripes. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah. Okay. So what are we looking at for time? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing minimal cuts to this video just because of time. So it's not going to be as uh as cut up cut up as edited as it could possibly be. And I'm out of power again. Why am I always out of power? It's crazy. It's not like it's cold or anything. You know what? No. No, that's a horrible idea. I was thinking I could pressurize this. And then I thought about that up there. I could still pressurize it. I could put an airlock in here. Uh, but over there, I gotta... Um, no, no, no. This area is way too big to be pressurized. We'll, we'll just put warning signs around being like, hey, yeah, no, um, this area is not pressurized, so uh, um, don't come here without a helmet. That's probably too much. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> That's fine. Well, actually, we need to go higher. Because we actually need to put a roof in here. So that will be the medical bay. I, I don't know why I'm, I'm... I'm adding more to this base... Yeah, let, let's let's fill it out. Let's make it seem like a pretty good base instead of a, um, eh, it's okay, type of base. <laughs> we'll go with a white weldless. Sure, white weldless. Why not? <laughs> oh, now we need to do some stuff. We need to clear up a few things. We need to make people cry. make pistons piston how deep do I want to go because we could go with a five piston no let's just go with these uh, we're not doing a rotor however we do want two pistons on here at least two pistons. I don't think I can go farther than that, so that might not be 7.5. Oh, it is 7.5. Okay, cool. So only three quarters on that. Okay, cool. And why is... This is my, my don't weld green. Oh. <laughs> it was supposed to be in my don't weld green. 
but I may have uh, made a mistake. Build and repair system. 120. Okay. Right. So we have that. Now let's bring this in. I think one piston should be fine on here. And then we need to get the drills in place. Which have to come up to the elbow. Can we fit a piston in here and then drills? I don't think so. I think we might be able to put the piston in there, but I don't think we can put any drills in here. Actually, but if we get rid of that, we can. Right? That's good. Should be good. Need another layer. I should have all the parts for that. <laughs> okay. 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 Awesome. <laughs> right. Um. Right. A little bit crazy, but sure. Let's bring this up to minimum distance of ten. Okay, um, there's our drills, and I'm gonna start drilling. So, uh, I guess we'll just start it up and see what happens. I'll probably speed it up. Um, first, let's make sure that goes on. There, there's a tensor on. Sure, there's a tensor on. Nurse a tensor on. And what we do is we go into reverse. Huh. I wonder why that isn't working. Oh. Dumb, dumb. I went with maximum distance instead of minimum distance. It should be fixed now. Share tensor. And that's already on. And those bonds are there. Yes. And for you. Yes. Don't have it on for here, though, because I thought I screwed up that way. But I didn't. And there we go. And I'm just going to do that a few dozen more times. Okay. So I'm going to uh, rip this apart, and I'll bring you back for the outro, I guess. Or something. Something like that. Okay. Um, actually, I'm just going to speed this up. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to speed this up. So, speed up starts now. Okay, and we're back. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be deep enough. So, let's see, we got three blocks there. Going to be a block around the corner. Blocks on the floor, block here. Let me see here. Okay, we have a... Block here. That right, might be enough. No 
we're going to have a block in here. Um. Yeah, we need to go deeper. Um, or do we need to go... That way, no. I think we should go deeper. It'd be easier to go deeper. All I have to do is back this off. Hook up a weld plate. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go deeper. Drills off. Thank you. You should be fine if I disconnect you. Shit. Might be fine. It might line up. Sweet. Oops, no, no, no. That worked. <laughs> I was worried there for a moment when I when I saw it floating. It's like, uh oh, this could be a problem. So we need to get rid of these. Uh, that should be fine. Drills. going further. <clears throat> and this has to go share on. Okay. Okay. So let's get back to uh, grinding it out. And we're going to do another speed up here. Now. And we're back. We've gone as deep as we can. And I started thinking here, okay, so we've gone as deep as we can, as I just said. So I might as well repeat myself, why not? Um, is there a way we can connect this with up there? It looks like we might be able to. But I'm not going to focus on that right now. I, I'm, 
I'm kind of uh, already defocusing as it is with uh, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> like this was not part of the plans. It's just something that came up. It's like, oh, you know what would be cool? <laughs> Yeah, you know what would be cool? If we did something like what we did, what we're doing, rather. <clears throat> so there we go. We have a hole. We created a hole. Nice. This is a lovely hole. We have cargo and conveyor access here. So what we can do is we can bring it down. And you know what? We'll just do some more of these. These T's. And we'll just bring it to the end. Whoopsie daisies. And we'll cap it off with Some bordering blocks okay uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have no idea where I'm gonna be putting this stuff so I might as well go crazy uh, when we figure out where we put stuff then I can obviously delete things and my inventory is critical again Leave me in peace. You know what? Let's go with funny. Let's let's continue this funky color color scheme here. I might actually do that along that wall. Then maybe do something over there. Let's do that. Let's change our color. Shoot. Well done, screwed up, boy. That's fine. I screwed up. Okay. Now, what was that? I think it was a sci fi armor, right? Side of armor. Okay. We'll just go down here, paint a little tree. That's what I want, right? I want three blocks. Three blocks roof. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the nice thing about that is. You know how you got things like <clears throat> big things that come through those doors? Well, if we have something like this right here, like so, then it's easy to uh, get stretchers on the lichen. Yeah, you see? You see what I did? <laughs> huh. 
and then we'll continue this this color over here and of course you don't want doctors to just use this one entrance right um they want to be able to get in here and uh sort things out like right away or close to right away so we're gonna put down a airlock door because this area will be pressurized Well, the medical wing will be pressurized. And it'll probably have its own separate gravity generator as well. Yeah. Uh, that will actually be one Earth gravity. Because you don't want half gravity for, like, um, for, like, medical emergencies because something strange at least this is what i learned from expanse the expanse is that uh uh zero g is no good for like wounds uh i don't know how accurate that is but it sounds pretty good And we can modify this and put in glass. Yeah, let's go with that. Grr. Yeah, that'll work. So there we go. We have our entrance for doctors and nurses. And we have our entrance for emergencies. People on stretchers and the like. And let's go grab some... Actually, we want this to be clean, right? So let's make it clean armor. <clears throat> and let's make it white. So you can spot how, how, how dirty it is just by looking. This is a little more difficult than I figured it would be. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of speed up here. And I'll bring you back in a moment. Uh-oh. Um, we have a drone. We have a, 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 a guy coming really close to our base. So once it gets like within 2.5 kilometers, my rail guns are gonna shred it. Oh, here we go. Oh, you're lucky you're up there. Two thirty-eight. Well, we might have a problem here. Two thirty-five. Thirty-two. Thirty-one. Oh, they're getting really close. Oh, actually, my rail guns will only fire at to what the let's, let's look here. Fourteen hundred. Okay, so so they're fine. 
As long as they don't get within 1.4 kilometers, they should be good. Two, two, three. Two, two, two. Okay, they're pulling away. Whew, good. I thought we were going to have a firefight here in a moment. That would have made things exciting. <clears throat> uh, but let's get back to the medical bay. Now, you might have noticed uh, in the speed up. Hopefully they don't send fighters after me. Because they're intruding into my space. So what I've done here is I basically have an airlock here. So somebody who is being rushed in, okay, you don't want to open up this air, this airlock in order to uh, get your patients in. You want to get, uh, you don't want to open up this door to zero atmosphere to bring your patients in. So you got to either bag them and bring them in in some way or have an airlock of some sort like this uh, to bring them in. Now, I have to do a bit more to this to actually make it an actual airlock, but that shouldn't be too difficult. I need a sensor that senses things in here. Yeah, something like that. So I guess I should have went all the way down here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to speed things up again. So I'll see you in a moment.
Okay, and we are back. I've done a bunch of stuff here. We got the floor in place. Um, you're probably wondering why I was marking this down. Uh, it's because I wanted to figure out what the center of this room was. Or close center. As it is, it's 13 that way by 13 that way. So, oh well... Yeah, something like that. So it's an odd number, which is great. But now I got to get this gravity configured. I have it at 15 right now. If I come out 35, let's try 35. 35. What does that look like? Good coverage. And we got half there. The so one, two. Really? How did I come out with 35? Does 35 just work? No, it looks like it's more like 30. No. 30 and change, 32, 33, maybe 35 was fine, and I have no idea how it came up with this number. Well, let's try 30 in the other direction. much not enough okay so what's my gravity right here gravity, gravity gravity I have no artificial gravity till about here okay so let's give it another, let's bring it up to 45, oh, 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 that stays, not too much, 43. Fine. Let's see here. Go from 0 0.5, 1.5. Okay. 43 is too much. So 42 will have to do. Now we're going from one. There's a blip of 150. Just on the edge. Okay, so theoretically, if I go here, we're at 1.0. Yeah, we have a... It's crazy. Was that? Why are you wiggling? That's why you're wiggling. Okay. Okay. 
That should help that out. charge up my suit because I'm about to go into cold warning <laughs> okay so we have a blip of 1.5 41 or 40 I can't go half point or can I I don't think I can. I think they have to be whole numbers. No, it worked. Uh, one. That's fine. It's just a brief moment. Brief moment. It should be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> GG. Medical. Emergency. Medical. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, remember when I was saying I want to, I think I want to put a window in here. Well, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, you know, now we can see out into the bay. We're characterized, which is great. Uh, we can actually change the color of this as well because it shouldn't. Oops. Need to go light. Okay, cool. So yeah, we need to do some lights in here. We gotta put down everything else. But uh this episode has gone on long enough. Um yeah. It's gone on long enough. I, I do like this. This is a nice transition here. Like a little bunker. Or a little um Dome. Yes, a dome. Okay, how does this look out here? Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I could probably go white all the way down, right? And this doesn't have to be the clean white. We can go with the, uh, the, the heavy white. The, um, what is it? The sci-fi armor white. It's that'll do. Okay, so yeah, this has gone on long enough. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode that's mostly about building. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of stuff done for the most part. This medical bay is ready to go. I just have to get, uh, get the lights in. And I'll probably do like corner lights. Maybe a light panel above beds i don't know i don't know i'll figure it out anyway until next time i have been relaxed gaming i will see you guys in the next one yeah